And Appleton's iconic 222 building officially has a new owner. Local 5's Timothy Lateau tells us about the agreement and the impact that it will have on local businesses. Appleton's tallest building now has a new owner, U.S. Venture. Well, this has been a long time coming. There have been conversations over many years about U.S. Venture coming downtown, and this project has taken uh, a different shape than was originally proposed. U.S. Venture anticipates 650 employees moving into its new headquarters in the 222 building by the end of 2025, once renovations are complete. Formerly based in Kimberly, U.S. Venture has committed to a $40 million renovation of its new headquarters, while the city of Appleton will give it a Pago TIF tax break of more than $2 million. Right now that $2.1 million doesn't exist. It will come to exist uh, through the property tax payments that U.S. Venture itself makes. U.S. Venture declined an interview, but Vice President of Marketing Mercedes Bereza said in a statement, quote, the project has benefited from the shared vision that the revitalization and adaptive reuse of an underutilized historic building in downtown Appleton is an environmentally sustainable choice, representing the optimal scenario for our team members, customers, and the community. Small business owners within the corridor will also experience economic impact. Down the block, Susie Blackwell is thinking that more staff may be needed weekdays at Voyager's Bakehouse. I definitely think that will um, change the way that we have to navigate business. And wedged between construction on College Avenue, Emily Zhang at Bold 91 is preparing for more parking difficulties. It's just taking some parking space downtown, but downtown always has a difficulty with that. In Appleton, Timothy Lateau, Local 5 News. The city of Appleton is also selling 650 parking permits for the green ramp to U.S. Venture employees at a discounted rate.